Have you ever wanted more analytics around your HubSpot form submissions? Well, of course you have. Analytics is the gateway to smart decisions with your sales, marketing, and service strategies. Well, wait no more because in this video, we're gonna talk about HubSpot forms, analyzing, performing, reports, dashboards, and so much more. Are you ready to get nerdy with your HubSpot forms data? Then hey, you know what time it is. Are you a HubSpot user looking for fun and interactive education that helps you be better at HubSpot? Then welcome to Sprocket Talk. That's right, it's your boy George B. Thomas from SprocketTalk.com bringing you yet another HubSpot educational video brought to you, of course, by the amazing team over at Impulse Creative. If you're a sales, marketing, or service professional looking to learn more about HubSpot and those inbound strategies that help your business grow, then guess what? you're in the right spot. Make sure you subscribe to keep learning more and use the comment section below to ask us all the HubSpot and inbound questions that you may have. Now, without further ado, let's get into the good stuff. Your HubSpot forms are the pillar of your sales, marketing, and service conversion points. The success and failure of these conversion points, or might I say digital conversation starting points, are crucial to the future success of your business. So how is one to make smart decisions based off of historical form submissions? Well, to be honest, it wasn't always easy, but today that all changes. Now with HubSpot form analytics, the ability to create form reports and add them to dashboards that you can email out to your team over time, well, let's just say the times they are a changing. Of course, with Form analytics is what we're talking about today. The times are changing with form analytics. So let's take a deep dive into our HubSpot hub and see exactly what is now at your conversion or conversation starting fingertips. So today's conversation is about form analytics. And of course, to get there, I went marketing, lead capture, and then forms. And just a very high level, surface level analytics is for any of your forms, you can look at the views and you can filter by views submission rate, submissions, what pages they appear on if they are for the HubSpot CMS. If they are not HubSpot CMS, they will say no HubSpot pages, but that doesn't mean that they aren't used on, let's say a WordPress Joomla Drupal site if you're using the embed code. But there is a deeper level of understanding your form analytics other than just this surface level. First of all, notice at the top of the page there is view detailed forms analytics. I'm going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. And what you're going to be able to see is that we can do a rolling date range. Here we're doing last 30 then the frequency of that information. And we're going to see a performance we're gonna see a conversion rate and we're gonna see submissions. Now notice you can do HubSpot uh, forms, pop-up forms, non-HubSpot forms, and even blog comments. So you can get very granular with the data that you're looking to create or see here, as well as view or save it as a report, which then means it could be on a dashboard as well. As we scroll down, you're gonna see things that are actually the form, view, submissions, conversion rates, and you can see that you page through this. You can also edit the columns here where you'll see form type or you'll see last modified that can be added as well. Here at the top, it doesn't have to always be about submissions. It can be form views, submissions, and conversion rate that you're looking at. So again, you might pick to be submissions or conversion rate and then save it as a report. But again, a very high level looking at kind of all your forms and we can still get a little more granular. So we're gonna go bounce back to our forms tool here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for a specific form that maybe we're interested in. And so we'll do free membership. Again, surface level information, but if we come over actions and we look at view details, what you're gonna see now is we have a performance tab of the actual form where we can see the views, we can see the conversion rate, and we can see the amount of submissions. We're again gonna be able to do submissions over time here. We're gonna be able to look at the conversion rate on here, and we're gonna be able to look at the form views on here. I'll go ahead and put it back to submissions. Again, depending on what you're wanting to look for and see, you can change that. Notice we can save this to a dashboard. We can save this to a dashboard. So remember, being able to email those dashboards to individual people who might be in charge of individual forms may be something that's super smart moving forward. 
So you're going to see the steps of completion. So notice page visits. And when I hover over it, it says the number of times a person visited the web page that your form is on. You can see here visible on screen, the number of times your form was seen by a visitor and then interacted with and then submitted. And so you can see the numbers right here and the completion percentage rate over here to the right. Also contact types, submissions from existing contacts or submissions from new contacts. So we can see that we had some of our community engage with it, but we've also grown our community with this form as well. And then we're going to be able to see conversion pages. So what pages were they on when this conversion happened? You're going to see the views, the submissions and the conversion rates for individual items as well. You can tab through those with pagination. You're going to see submission by source. So now was it direct traffic? Was it social media? Was it organic traffic, email marketing, referrals, other campaigns, offline sources? Why is this important? Because we see that social media is actually a really good driver as well as what might be word of mouth or people talking about this form or the page to get to this form that they're talking about. So again, we can still go deeper. So notice if we scroll back up here, this whole time we've been on performance. If we go to the analyze tab, you're going to see here we have an overall responses. We can see all fields or we can see optional fields. This is first name, last name, company name, company email. How long have you been using HubSpot? Again, if I do optional fields, now we see the different fields here. Notice there is regular field, there is uh, excluded submissions, and there is dynamic uh, here as well. You can turn those off and on as needed. And then you're going to see the name, you're going to see the company name. So some of the answers, you're going to see how long have they uh, been using HubSpot. Here are some of the answers. A lot of people have used it for four plus years, and a lot of people have used it for under three months inside of our community. Again, great data, depending on great questions that you're asking in your forms that you can now see in your forms analytics. Which parts of HubSpot do you use? Mostly Marketing Hub, some Sales Hub, a few Service Hub, and actually now with the launch of CMS Hub, we're getting some of those to populate as well. And do you work for a marketing agency? Yes or no? Again, look at all of the analytics that are at your fingertips that you can see. And notice down here, hidden fields. You can open that up and you can see how people are interacting with your hidden fields as well. So with the performance tab and the analyze tab with your form analytics, now you can start to make really smart decisions in the future with your sales, marketing, and service efforts. So what's next? Well, head into your portal and take a look at your HubSpot analytics. Make sure you're asking great questions in your forms. Also, make sure you're looking at increasing your metrics that matter over time, as well as leveraging all the form data to make smarter decisions as you move forward. And remember, it's about moving forward with your sales, marketing, and service efforts when it comes to these conversion or conversation starting points. Hey Sprockets here, did you like this video? Then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell as well for instant notifications and so we know that you're part of the Sprocket Talk community. Make sure you take time to head over to SprocketTalk.com for more actionable and tactical HubSpot user resources. It's been my absolute pleasure, but until next time when we meet in the next video, make sure you're focused on being a happy, helpful, humble human. And as always, make sure you're focused on doing some happy HubSpotting.